Ever wonder what makes all your devices stick? From the laptop on your desk to the phone in your pocket, there's a silent hero behind it all. Operating systems. And in the next few minutes, we're going to break down every major OS, what they do and why they're so crucial to our digital lives. Let's start with the undisputed king of personal computing windows created by microsoft this operating system first launched in 1985 and has been constantly evolving with iconic versions like windows 95 xp 10 and now windows 11 windows is what we call a general purpose operating system that means it can be used for a wide variety of tasks from browsing the internet to video editing programming gaming or managing complex networks it's a graphical os windows based interface making it easy to use even for people who aren't very tech savvy it can run on a 300 dollar laptop or on a higher end server and it offers quite a bit of customization. However, Windows isn't exactly a symbol of simplicity. Updates can be intrusive. Errors often have obscure codes that are hard to decipher and the system can become unstable if you push it too hard. Also, because it is so widespread, Windows is a primary target for viruses, malware, and cyber attack. Next up, the elegant sibling, Mac OS. It's the operating system created by Apple for its computers. It all began in 2001 with Mac OS X, and since then, the system has been continuously refined. It's elegant, stable, and extremely well optimized, but only for Apple hardware within a tightly controlled ecosystem. Apple offers a fluid experience so you don't deal with weird drivers or compatibility errors. Mac OS is also recognized as one of the most secure operating systems out there. For example, it's a popular choice among creative professionals, video editing, music production, photography, design, everything just feels smoother. However, customization options are limited installing apps from outside the app store requires extra steps and gaming support is minimal almost non-existent now for arguably the most important operating system you never see linux it's based on the kernel created in 1991 by Linus Torvald. Although it started as a just an academic project, Linux quickly became a solid foundation for modern operating systems. Distros like Ubuntu, Fedora and Arc are built around this kernel. It runs on servers that power the internet on Android phones, supercomputers, routers, smartwatches, and yes, even on some laptop. It's completely open source, meaning anyone can view, modify, or distribute the code. It's extremely stable, even under heavy use. Most of the world's servers and critical systems run on Linux. However, software compatibility is limited and it requires advanced technical knowledge to use. Shifting gears to simplicity, Chrome OS, developed by Google and built on Linux kernel, it's designed to work with web app and online services. It comes pre-installed on laptop called Chromebook which are optimized for speed, simplicity and security. It's ideal for students, teachers and anyone who wants a hassle-free system. Chrome OS is extremely fast at startup, offers strong security with automatic updates and sandboxed apps and has full integration with the Google ecosystem. However, without an internet connection, Chrome OS becomes almost useless. Now let's talk about the operating system most of us interact with every day, Android and iOS. Android is a mobile operating system developed by Google, first launched in 2008. Today, it's the most widespread mobile OS in the world. 
running on smartphones, tablets, smart watches and TVs. What makes it so widespread, it's free and open source which means anyone can use, modify and distribute the system. It's flexible and highly customizable from icons and widgets to the kernel itself. However, there are few downsides such as software fragmentations which often delay or skip system updates and the presence of bloatware pre-installed apps that can't be easily removed. Next is iOS, the mobile operating system developed by Apple exclusively for the iPhone. Launched in 2007, it redefined what a smartphone could do. Today, it's a complex ecosystem, extremely stable, secure, and tightly locked within Apple's walled garden. All iOS apps are distributed through the App Store and every system update is directly managed by Apple across all compatible devices. As for downsides, being a tightly controlled, you can't install app from outside the App Store without using an official method. Also, integration with other products like Windows is limited, customization options are minimal, and some apps can be more expensive than their Android alternatives. Finally, let's pay homage to the true grandfather, Unix. It was created in 1969 at Bell Lab and was designed as a portable, multitasking, multi-user system deeply influencing the architecture of today's modern operating system. Unix is built for serious systems. It features a command line interface and is not designed for everyday consumers. For example, major banks use commercial version of Unix. It's also worth mentioning BSD, an open source operating system derived from Unix. It's known for its stability, security, and performance in server environment. Did you know Netflix uses free BSD for its streaming servers and so do PlayStation 4 and 5. So operating systems are everywhere around us. Some stare us in the face every time we boot up our laptop while others run silently in the background of servers, cars, satellites or even watches.